I'm going to talk about another kind of growth. Um, we've been talking a little bit about how we grow our co-ops. I'm going to talk a little bit about some work that the staff and the, <coughs> the board at La Montanita have been doing about growing the larger cooperative network here in New Mexico. It's going to be a little bit more nuts and bolts. And um, I should add, M Martha mentioned the, the idea of board study and, and the work that I'm talking about actually comes out of the board study work that we've been doing. And uh, as we note down here, it's a work in progress. We've just started to think about this. We've just started to make contact. We're actually looking at some potential funding as well. But um, I, th I suspect that much of what I'm going to present here is, is going to be modified over time. So what are our goals? Our goals are first to create a cooperative network based on what we share. Um, what we're talking about here is how can cooperatives in New Mexico and in the whole region uh, get together and build the kind of synergy we've been talking about, what everybody sees in, <coughs> in NCGA, what we can see in IC, uh, ICA. What do we have in common? We're um, here in New Mexico, our co-ops are very diverse politically, culturally, and in terms of the work we do. So there's, there's going to be a challenge in terms of finding commonalities, but, but we suspect that they're there. Um, so, so once we've uh, uh, found these commonalities, our goals are to use shared resources to promote co-ops statewide. Once again, thinking back to what Dame Pauline said, how can we um, uh, 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 use our synergies to, to get the word out more, to explain to New Mexicans how cooperatives make life better for everybody? Um, we also <coughs> are working to um, increase awareness at the academic level. Um, we'd like to work more closely with the University of New Mexico and perhaps with, with the public schools so that we really get down to the basic level of education, teaching people, reaching young people, um, making a case for why cooperatives fit into the world. Um, Long term, what we're hoping to do is to start thinking about our, our government, the political level, um, what kinds of powers that governments and our politicians have that, that we could tap into that, uh, that would in turn build awareness with them and help them build a cooperative community. Um, big plans. So wh what have we done so far? Well, we've really just begun. Um, one of the things that happened was that just recently the University of New Mexico uh, Biology Department's sustainability studies had a course in cooperatives, the first course in cooperatives that we've, we've heard about, that we've seen in Albuquerque, and several of us on the board and the staff participated. We did everything we could to encourage this. We want, the, we want to see them do it some more. Um, um, we've, uh, we recently had a new uh, president of the University of New Mexico and um, we sent a letter to the president. We said, um, uh, we understand you're interested in economic de development and we know you're going to be hosting conferences. Come to our board meeting. Come to take a look at, 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 at how co-ops function. And of course we knew this was kind of pie in the sky, but we sent the letter anyway and unfortunately the president didn't come, but we're going to keep trying and, and we're going to keep working with the university. So um, the other question that we, you know, we were asking ourselves is, well, you know, we want to build a better world. We want to, 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 to explain to people um, why it'll be a better world with more co-ops. And how are we going to do that? Well, one of the approaches that we want to do is to start quantifying the impacts of co-ops statewide. And we want, to, we want to be able to present rigorous data to the extent that it's possible to explain how co-ops build a better world. And so one of the things we did was we approached um, the Bureau of Business and Economic Research, uh, um, a, an entity at the UNM Business School, and said, could you help us do this research? We know that, that you know, co-ops provide a lot of employment, they purchase a lot of materials, they do a lot of other work that has uh, both economic and social impacts. Um, can you, you know, do a rigorous study that, uh, uh, that helps us explain this better? And um, we did actually get a response, a, rec uh, a res response to our proposal, and um, starting to ask around with potential funding, we've even found possibly um, half of the money 
about $24,000 total that we're going to need. Um, here's another area that we're really interested in. Um, um, like a, a policy governance board, the co-op has ends. And um, if you looked at our ends, you'd probably notice that they were pretty similar to uh, uh, to other people's, uh, other co-op's ends. You know, we talk about the economy, we talk about agriculture, we talk about social issues. So w once again, we just said to ourselves, you know, how can we make our, uh, our ends reporting even better? And how can we make them more rigorous? How can we learn more? How can we make them more appealing as a tool that, that we go out to our members and to the a larger community and say this is the work that the co-op is doing it's um, uh, it's a board general manager shared project we've both uh, both entities have talked about this um, much of it is going to be centered around our food shed and once again um, we've secured partial funding for this uh, the funding we're hoping is going to come from an organization called the Rocky Mountain Farmers Union which is part of a, a broad national coalition of, of farmers unions um, and what we hope to do is to use this information to promote the work that La Montanita does in a, in a rigorous kind of a way. Uh, last thing that we hope to do that I wanted to talk about for the moment is at some point uh, schedule a statewide meeting of co-ops. Um, what we'd like to do is to get as many co-ops together as possible. Um, we know we have housing co-ops, food co-ops, um, dairy co-ops, electrical co-ops, artist co-ops, probably more. We're not even sure of all of the co-ops that are in the state. We're a big state and we're very diverse. But we'd like to get everybody together and have a conversation about um, how we can work together, how we can use these kinds of synergies and um, um, uh, make the place, uh, 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 make the whole state uh, more conducive to, to cooperative growth. And I think one way to do this is to explain how um, entities like NCGA and the Statewide Rural Electric Co-op Association are already doing this, you know, this idea of stronger together. So perhaps if we can get everybody together and say, you know, we could do all of these wonderful things that will benefit all of us, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe we could start to work together on identifying common issues. So um, um, uh, the board, the board has allocated money for the for the meeting, and we have yet to set a date. But um, we, you know, certainly hope that it's something that'll be happening during this fiscal year. So that's those are our big plans. They're very exciting, and as I say, they're they're you know just kind of starting to take to take root. So um, thank you. <laughs>